Good evening, Montlake artists. Are you enjoying the pink moon that's out tonight? It's so bright and beautiful. There's like a shadow cast over my house right now. I thought I'd share it in case you're already asleep. It reminds me of an artist, Hilma Off Klimt. We are going to be looking at some of her work when the sun rises. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of In the Art Studio with Miss Lundgren. Today, my daughter Ingrid joins us for some painting out in our little courtyard here. Last night when we were out gazing at the beautiful pink moon, maybe you got to see it, came out about eight o'clock, I think. I started thinking about one of my most favorite artists that I did not get the opportunity to introduce you to, although you did get to see her work on the back wall of the art studio at Montlake. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the most fantastic abstract painter, a real original and visionary, Miss Hilma Off Klint. She was born in Sweden in 1886, long time ago. She was pretty unknown all the way up until 1986 when her artwork was found and she suddenly became an overnight smash sensation in her home country of Sweden. Last year she had a huge solo exhibition at the Guggenheim Museum in New York City where I believe about 120 of her paintings were on display. Hilma is well known and could very well be one of the first abstract artists. That's right, she made paintings that she considered to be a language, a language of the future. When she was about to die, she requested that her artwork not be shown for 20 years until after she had passed away. She felt that the world was not ready for the messages and the symbols that were found in her artwork. She took great inspiration from another group of women. It was like an artist group of women called the Five. These five women would get together and they would practice all types of different magics, including trying to speak to spirits of people that had passed away. She felt like these spirits were talking to her and giving her ideas for her paintings. And she came up with some really beautiful, beautiful imagery. Lots of symbols of circles and pyramids and rainbows, organic shapes, kind of like almost like our unfurling fern that we did the other day. Lots of uh, shapes that might remind you of things found in nature, like the spiral of a shell. And Hilma had all kinds of scientific equations that she could explain these paintings with, although she was never quite sure where these ideas came from. We are going to take a look at some of her artwork and we're going to find inspiration in the beautiful pastel colors that she used. And today, rather than work in oil painting, which is what she did, we are going to use some watercolors. Ready, Ingrid? Yep. Okay, let's get started. All right, here we are. Paint brushes, watercolors. Please, please email me if you do not have watercolors at home. I will scale the side of the building and 
loot the school of every set of watercolors and oil pastels if you do not have them. Let me know, please. We've got brushes, we've got our dish of water right here, we've got a couple of different types of watercolor paints. I know those are mine because they have my name on them. They're kind of grubby, but that's okay. We're gonna start out with um, some really nice Hilma inspired colors, lots of pastels. And we're gonna see what comes up. I'm gonna start with some circles. What about you, Ingrid? I think I might start with some flowers. Oh, good, some flower images. Okay, here we go, get started. Hello and welcome back. Ingrid and I have finished our painting session today and I think we're both happy with how our work turned out. We got a lot of inspiration uh, looking at Hilma's work and um, I think I really would like to dedicate my painting to that beautiful pink moon last night. I kind of tried to incorporate that in my painting and then I tried to add this kind of organic almost like my leaf fern form that I was working on the other day. Signed my name, added the date. Ingrid, Come show on. your beautiful piece. Wow, look at all of those beautiful colors. More of a beachy theme. More of a beachy theme, that's okay. It's almost summer, or at least it feels like it. We had a lot of fun using our watercolors. We're going to wash our brushes up and meet you again tomorrow for another painting art video. session maybe up yeah, maybe painting or maybe some clay or sewing we'll see what we feel like tomorrow okay thanks for joining us stay creative montlake we will see you soon